<coughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the shield to recap uh, number 5 Gonzaga beating number 12 uh, McNeese State uh, today, 86-65 uh, reaction. So disappointed in McNeese State. I, I had them go, what my fucking bracket here? Where, where's my fucking bracket? I don't know where my bracket is. My bracket here, ladies and gentlemen. I had McNeese State going to the Sweet 16. They just went on the first damn round. I mean, I know it's against Gonzaga, a team that's... I know it's been as good as past years. They've been like the one seed. But this year, they're five seed. And me and a lot of other people, a trendy upset pick was McNeese State. And, and they shit the bed here. They really shit the bed. Completely brown. Completely wet themselves out there. Looked terrible. Boo! Boo! Double boo! For McNeese State. They got completely demolished. Especially at first half. 48-25. It was the score at halftime. Gonzaga was doing whatever they wanted. They were getting whatever they wanted in the paint. Getting whatever they wanted from beyond the arc. McNeese State just couldn't stop them. Anton Watson. Gra uh, Graham A.K. Ben Greg. Nolan Hickman. Stromer. All had double figures. Uh, their leading scorer, Graham A.K. 16 points. 10 rebounds. Has probably been the best. Has definitely been the best player in the... Um, WCC this year, at least in my opinion, I think he's been better than, who, who was that one, the uh, Big East player of the year, or not Big East, uh, WCC player of the year, was it, uh, somebody, some guard from St. Mary's, I think Green McKay's been the best player in the WCC this year, he, he was phenomenal in this game, 16 and 10, Anton Watson, 13 points, 9 assists, 13 rebounds, what a phenomenal game from Anton Watson, nearly a near triple-double. Uh, Bing Greg, 12 points, 5 rebounds. Great game from Graham E.K. And uh, Bing Greg. And Anton Watson, their three forwards play amazing. Owen Hickman, 11 points. Nimhard, 8 points, 9 assists, 2 rebounds. Uh, Braden Huff, 7 points, 3 rebounds. So they're, all their forwards with Huff, Greg, E.K., and Watson all scored the basketball really well. Dusty Stromer, 10 points, 3 assists. He hadn't scored much this year. But he had a big game here with 10 points. Uh, Krajanovic, 7 points. He didn't, play, he didn't even play much. Scored 7 points off the bench. Because Gonzaga completely dominated this game. Shot 51% from the floor. 47 from 3. Out-rebound of McNeese by 12. 22 assists on their 31 made field goals. They assist the ball very well. Compared to McNeese, only had 9 assists on 23 made field goals. They really didn't shoot well. 33%. From the floor, 22 from the three from the three point line. Just not a good game overall for McNeese. Uh, Christian Shoemate or Shoemate, 22 points, 11 rebounds. Shahada Wales, 19 points, six rebounds. I earned that. Yeah, DJ Richard Jr. seven points, three assists, two rebounds. Uh, <coughs> Mike Saunders Jr. with eight uh eight points. But other than that, nobody else really showed up. Uh, for this team here at McNeese State. Nobody else really should, nobody really showed up in the first half until, really for the, uh, the whole first half. And then they just tried to get going in the second half, but it was already over. But I guess that ne shows never came out Gonzaga and Mark Few in this team, because they didn't look too great most of the season, but they've started to play, but they've played better as the years went along. This was a trendy upset pick. I saw a lot of people picking Gonzaga, or, uh, McNeese State, but because they are 33, won their conference. Will Wade's a fantastic coach. But McNeese was just outmatched uh, in this basketball game. And AK's perfect sh game leads a hot shooting Gonzaga team. He was perfect. Uh, AK made all six of his field goals and all four free throws. And they had like four or five guys in the digits slide. And McNeese State's first trip to the NCAA tournament in 22 years ends in a freaking blowout. Gonzaga shot 52 from the field, basically 48 from three. And Watson dunked in a fast break and to cap off a 16-2 run that left Gonzaga's that 44-20 lead to the first half. And they just stayed, couldn't get any closer until like the final minutes. But the Bulldogs just quick passing led to a bevy of wide open threes and made eight of their first ten from beyond the yard. And when they made eight of those first ten, you're like, yeah, McNeese State's not going to have a chance in this basketball game. And they stayed close for a while on sheer grit and hustle, but the Bulldogs' efficiency really prevented them from getting out and running. And most of their possessions really an off-balance jumper, circus shots, not, it's not what they've been doing the whole year. 
It's Gonzaga's defense. It's been great. And it showed it today. And they didn't record their first three pointer or assist until Javon Garcia found DJ Richards for a long range shot in the first half with like a minute left. But by the time it was over, Gonzaga and Kansas were the only teams to win at least one game in the last 15 tournaments. So the Bulldogs are going to face the Jayhawks or Sam to see if they can face their nine straight Sweet 16. And our few just wins. So, yeah, it's really hard to say for this game here. Disappointing for us from McNeese State. So, until next time, I'm out. Peace.